May the two wonderful syllables, Radha, that immediately attract the Lord of Gokula, Shri Krishna, after even one single utterance that makes all goals of human life seem futile when love is developed for it, and that mark the mantra that is lovingly repeated by Lord Vishnu and even by Sri Krishna always be manifest on my tongue. So this is a verse that is from Radha Ras Sudanidi. And it says again that the two syllables Radha immediately attract Krishna, even after one single time listening that holy name. And when we develop love for these holy names of Sri Radha, of her holy name, then all the goals of human life that are seem to be so wonderful, like dharma, artha, kama, and moksha, development of our duties and material development, wealth, and then after getting uh, fed up with all these external things, liberation, all these seem to be very insignificant when we develop Radha's love and love for her holy name. And uh, Srila Prabhupada Saraswati is, is praying that his tongue may be attracted to that holy name of Sri Radha. And um, I remember when we were reading these three verses, not far, not long ago, there's one very sweet Leela in this. There are three verses in Radha Ras Sudanidi that are special about the glories of Radha Nam. It's 95, 96, and 97. And I remember them because our uh, Goranga Sundara said, this is like three pearls in a necklace. These three verses. So, Shirada's name is so powerful that even Krishna, he is attracted to chanting her names. And maybe you remember that beautiful Leela when Krishna was sitting in a kunj waiting for Shrimati Radhika to arrive, and he was chanting and meditating her holy name in eagerness. And then the Sakis and Radhika come, but they want to play with Krishna. So Shrimati Radhika is hiding in a kunj nearby and sending her Sakis. And then Krishna says, Oh, Sakis, where's Priyaji? Has she come? Will she come? And the Sakis say, Oh, her superiors have checked her today. Sorry, Mohan, today no chance to see her. But I can smell her fragrance. I can smell her. I think you are just joking. And she is somewhere hiding. Oh, we smell like her all the time because she's embracing us and we have a prashadi blouse. Oh, she will not come today. Oh, and Mohan becomes very sad. Can I still meet her somehow? Is there a way how we, I can get her mercy anyway? Yes. Stay here and fix your mind on her name. Maybe then she will become, be able to come because you are attracting her with the name. And so Krishna is chanting Radha's name with love and the tears are gliding down his eyes. But she didn't come. Oh, Sakis, she didn't come. What happened? What am I doing wrong? Oh, Krishna, you have to chant and hear. We chant and you hear. So the Takis are chanting and Krishna is listening with full 
love and they chant loudly Radha's name. And again, nothing happens. And they say, oh, Shamasundra, maybe there has been some offense on your side. Maybe you went someplace before that was not so nice. You have to get up and move while dancing, uh, while chanting and clap your hands so that these offenses fly far away. So Krishna does that and finally Srimati Radhika appears. This is one of the very nice leelas that uh, Sripad is uh, revealing through the hand of Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj in the Radha Rasuda Nidhi. That reveals the glories of Radha Nam. So the holy name of Radha is a mantra that most attracts Brajendra Nandana, who is himself the original personality of Godhead and the most worshipable in the entire universe. And that is what makes the holy name of Radha so glorious and so superior. So this is a explanation. It's more on the level of tattva, of uh, reasoning, of logic. Yes, Radha's name is so glorious. All the scriptures say it. But actually, when we hear about the Leela of Radha and Mohan, this is much more attracting how the holy name of Sri Radha is melting Mohan's heart and makes him ready to receive her. And she is then ready to reveal herself. Then Baba is explaining that in Vrindavan, it is the most sweet playground of Shirada in Mohan. The holy name of Radha is because it is so attractive to Krishna. Everyone is chanting this name. Now you are all in Vrindavan there. And that is the speciality of Vrindavan. The holy name of Sri Radha is to be chanted, to be practiced in Japa, to be heard and to be remembered. The holy name of Radha is in the mouth of everyone in Vrindavan. That is the glory of Vrindavan. People call each other with Radha Nam. They speak with each other, buy and sell and use it in all dealings. That's why it becomes so natural in Vrindavan to always chant her name. Everyone is singing it from morning to evening. Radhe, 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 Radhe. That's why Vrindavan. Yes, Gurdi. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Take a little bit more rest. Yeah. What touching. So, so whenever Suniti, Suniti talks, <laughs> I want to It is difficult to rest for, for Suniti to cry. Oh, no. <laughs> you are just so charming, Jayananda Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> Please share something about this beauty of Vrindavan and how Radha Nam is so all permeating. It's 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 all every, everywhere is it present, and it's all in all the in all the thoughts and the feelings of all the people of Vrindavan and also of us who come there. Like a name, <laughs> like a name represents all the quality and that personality, everything. So, so Nanda's uh, uh, Pradi Shakti personified, and uh, 
クプレマラサチンタマニ。So, all good quality, all beauty, all loving feeling, and、uh, all everything, including Radha's name. So, therefore, if, if we use Radha's name, then Krishna also cannot stand up. Baba mentioned this, this Brahma b a i b a r a t a p r a m a n a If La, Krishna here, La, then he cannot, he cannot move. He has automatically move in that direction. Then someone said, Da, then he running after him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Radha's name is so beautiful. And so merciful also. So I'm so much conditioned and、uh, so much fallen and、uh, covered. But、uh, all I have to do is to, to, to get the mercy of Shirimati Nadarani because she's like mother. Father may not tolerate. Like a charity issue,、uh, fault, like a PP Kaka or anything. But if we go mother, then no, no problem. Mother can hug and clean everything and powder it, some nice aroma put on it, and also kiss it, sometimes breast milk. <laughs> So, this is the nature of radical. So, this radical nature coming through our Guru Dev because Guru Dev is Radha Dasi. So, if we, I, I'm learning from Guru Dev how to behave, how to correct like this. <laughs> Wow, very nice. Yes, we have to assimilate those who are living in the holy vibration of Srimati Radhika, not only by external behavior, but in the hearts. And we can feel that, and we can, by feeling, we connect, and it Makes this intimacy. We need this intimacy. We cannot only love Radha or Mohan because it is written in the scriptures. That is something external. We know that, and maybe by logic we can press something. But to get the feelings, we get this from Guru Manjari, from the Dasi. Can I say something? Oh, good. <laughs>、yeah. Actually, Sasa is important. Sasa is the base for Krishna. But Krishna, the beauty has nothing. They don't believe in the Allah. So they have to believe in Shastra.、Mm. So they, they, they practice Shastra and they believe in Krishna Bhakti. And Radha Bhakti says That you have to live with your intention. Yes. Krishna Bhaktas, they need the logic and the reasoning of the scriptures. And to become Radha, 
you know, Radha Dasi, by the mercy of one who is in these feelings, then we can develop relation and feelings. It is not to be judged. It is just something that I think after some time it becomes a little bit dry. Like some friends, they sending me uh, messages on WhatsApp and some messages always that, yeah, you should become greedy, become greedy. Yeah, that is true. And then you will get Krishna Bhakti. Well, who is the personification of Krishna Bhakti? We have to develop a relationship with Radha Dasi. And Radha Dasis who are living in Vrindavan in the feeling of love of her and service of her. We cannot only speak about it, right, Guru? We have to be active. Love and action. So the people of Vrindavan are very clever because they know that this mantra, the Radha, attracts Krishna. And therefore, every day, every night, they wake up and they go to sleep with Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. People call each other with Radha Nam. And they respectfully speak with each other, buy and sell. And the rickshawalas, we know. And the Radha Nam is written on the walls of the houses and even on the trees. So this is the beauty of Rindavan. Not only that the sadhus are living there and the dasis and the beautiful, beautiful Goswamis, all of their followers and their disciples and... No, it's also externally everywhere we are reminded it's Radha's place. It's the place of love of Srimati Radhika. Jaya Jaya Radha Nam, Vrindavana Jaradam. The holy name of Radha is fresh and beautiful nectar. Therefore, the residents of Vrindavan love Radha Nam more than their lives. The holy name of Radha is the life of the inhabitants of Vrindavan. Like Jainanda Maharaj said so nicely, she is the mother. She is the protector. And she is the personification of this highest and most greediest love for Krishna. Her love is so deep that Krishna cannot get to the bottom of the ocean of her love. And sometimes he tries to sail on the ocean in his boat, but the waves are too high and he also he has to jump and take shelter of Radha. Even Krishna is looking for the shelter of Radha in Vrindavan. Sri Radharani is like the ocean of Sri Krishna's blissful pastimes. Even though Sri Krishna also enjoys with other gopis, Still, Sri Radharani is the ocean of Krishna's blissful pastimes. And an ocean is simply the source vessel of all rivers, ponds and lakes. Means that all the gopis are coming from Srimati Radhika's love for Krishna. And they are moving in this love and they are acting under her guidance in this love to make Krishna Rasika Shekara and relish all the love that she has to all the different channels of her consorts, of her expectations. 
Na Baba says one very nice sentence. The other gopis exist to nourish the mellows of Krishna's pastimes with Sri Radharani. That is a deep subject to understand and to meditate on that all the gopis, they are just assisting. And it's not only the gopis, it's whole Vrindavan. Whole Vrindavan, the cows and the trees and the lakes and the rivers. And Nanda Baba and Yashoda Maya, all inhabitants of Vrindavan, have come from the heart of Shrimati Radhika. She has manifested Sri Vrindavan Dham from the love that she has to be able to please Mohan in all the rasas that he wants to relish. And this other verse, I remember now at this moment, this other verse that we had in the Russian Zoom last week, where Shimati Radhika is uh, young and her, her shyness is so strong and she has only not met Krishna really in the Kunj. And that age is also one's sweetness. Krishna has different ages transcendental ages where he is relishing different different uh, rasas first he has the rasa with his mother then when he gets older he is herding the cows and has more rasa with his friends so first comes vatsalya ras then comes the friendship sakya ras and then later when the time has come for kishori age kishori kishora age then also, this Madhoya Ras in the relationship with Srimati Radhika is growing. And all the different ages are transcendental emotions that are culminating in the Madhoya Ras, where Krishna is relishing the love of Srimati Radhika as her beloved. And finally, we can say also, it is in that Madhoya Ras that we as servants of that can fully partake in our service. So, Shimati Radhika's mercy that she needs helpers. Goranga Mahaprabhu's mercy that he came to invite us. I remember Goravani was speaking so nicely that when Gauranga Mahaprabhu comes, and I have heard it also from different other teachers, he is the most mature and most golden personality on this planet that has ever been, you know, appearing because of he is uh, the inside and outside, inside feelings of Shimati Radhika and outside color. So we know also from Srila Rupa Goswami that Sri Radharani's holy name is similarly the ocean of Krishna's pastimes. And he is writing about that in his Vidakta Madhava drama. You know, Rupa Goswami, he's written some dramas. So for us to understand the, the Rasa uh, uh, theology. And in that beautiful drama, Vedakta Madhava, Krishna is running to embrace golden flowers and land lotuses while wandering through Vrindavan in search of Radha and mistaking them to be her. I like this picture and meditation on this because often we hear that Radharani is embracing uh, the Tamal tree. But here also Krishna is running behind golden flowers and thinking, oh, this is my Radhika. Oh, Radhe, where are you? And in this, in this Leela, 
that Srila Rupa Goswami has written, when Madhu Manga comes and he is giving him, he holds his hand like this and he says, oh, where, where are you running, Krishna? This is just a flower. This is not your beloved Radhika. Because Madhu Mangal is one of his uh, close friends and he knows about Krishna's secret love for Srimati Radhika. And he, he says, I have your Radhika. I can give you Radhika. And then he opened his hand and he had a leaf where the name Radha was written. And then Krishna said, oh, friend, certainly the present you have given me give, gives me the topmost satisfaction. Because if the syllables of the beloved names are visible or audible in any way, then naturally these syllables will satisfy the heart of the faithful with great eagerness within the heart. Inject and inject great eagerness within the heart. So we see here now Krishna is confirming. If we see only the name Radha on the trees or on the walls of Rindavan, even that will inject great eagerness in the heart. Of course to Krishna and of course also to us who are aspiring to be her faithful and very loyal Dasis. Any comments on this? Now comes one very nice poem also that I really like to share with you all and read to you all. And this was written in the meditation of one very nice uh, Bodhi or Parika of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and his name is Vrindavan Das. And, the, and uh, Baba says, the Mahajans sing in Krishna's words. Shuno Radhe Rasa Amiyetumaravasha Toma vine nahi bai mole. Japite tamara nama. Dairaya nadare prana. Tuaru pakori deyane. So Krishna is saying, Hear me, O oh Radhe, I am under your control. I don't think of anyone else with pleasure than you. My heart cannot remain peaceful when I do japa of your name and I meditate on your form. Shira de Shira de Vani Yedi ke yara mukke suni Sedi ke dirai moraman My mind runs to any place where I hear someone saying Shira de Shira de Chata ka pukare jeno Gane chahe varishana Teno heri au chanda vadan Just as a chataka bird stares at the rain cloud, similarly I stare at your moon-like face. So here Krishna says in the meditation of this one beautiful Mahajan Vrindavan Das, 
he hears, Krishna says that whenever somebody is calling your names, I my mind is running there. And my mind doesn't drink any kind of, you know, vibration. No, my mind is like a Chattaka bird. That is a special bird that they only drink the water from rain clouds. They don't go down to the lakes or to any places where old water is there. No, these birds, they fly high into the, into the clouds and they drink only the freshest and the most nectarian, you know, full of love. They are always eager for the rain to come. And if some, sometimes there's no rain, they will not drink. And so similarly, Krishna says, O oh, Sri Radhiki, I look at your moon-like face and I wait for a drop of your mercy. And if someone says your holy name, Sri Radhi, I will jump there and I will think, oh, is there a drop of nectar? Yeah. And Krishna says, Karete Murali Take Gana Radha Boli Dake Jotokshana Napai Deki Tomara no Puradvani Apana Shavana Shuni Tabe Marakshana Hoi Chi. My flute is staying in my hand and is loudly crying out Radha as long as I don't see you. When I hear the sound of your ankle bells with my own ears, then my heart comes at ease. So my flute will play as long as I don't see you, Radha, Krishna says. And only when I hear your ankle bells personally, then I am becoming satisfied. Radha Krishna Dutinam Tahe Tumi Aguyan Ami kori to mari borasa. Of the two names, Radha Krishna, you are the first one. And I long for you. Everything will be perfect if I can touch your feet. Tape se safala hobo, tua pada parasibo. And that is also the aspiration of Vrindavan Das. So here we say that Vrindavan Das is also in this mood of Srimati Radhika's maidservant. And in her meditation, she sees Krishna longing for Sri Radharani. And the maidservants, they are very attracted when Krishna becomes very uh, subjugated by Srimati Radhika's love. They feel this. That is the right time now for the meeting. When Krishna has this mood, he is so soft and so eager, then Srimati Radhika can now go and meet. And Krishna wants to touch her feet and also the Dasis want to touch the feet. And they like also to touch the feet when they are together. And they massage them when they are together. They massage them when they are lying on the flower bed. So this is the meditation of the Dasis.
So Shila Ta uh, Naratam Das Tako is in the same mood. Um, he also he wants to hear only the name of Sri Radha's and Krishna's glorification and Radha Rani is first. For the Mandris, Radha Rani is first. We had this last Sunday. And everywhere we can find it again and again. The name of Radha, the qualities of Radha, the desires of Radha, these are the bosses of the Mandris. This is this uh, complete loyalty and faith in Srimati Radhika's uh, service. Radhika Sneha. They are the, the Mandris love Radharani more than Krishna because they are just hers. They just have given the whole life to Srimati Radhika and her service. They are love and action personified. And that is natural for them. They can feel it and see it everywhere. Why would somebody meditate on Krishna in these qualities? Only because they can feel them through Srimati Radhika. Yeah, this was the nectar from this verse today. Of course, the nectar is unlimited. And then in the end, Srila Thakur Mahashai teaches the sadhakas of the world. The glorification of the holy name and the attributes of Sri Radha, who is the presiding goddess of Brahm, and whose names, attributes, and pastimes completely attract and subdue Shri Krishna are the greatest pursuit or goal of the sadhakas, and they really fulfill the tongue, the ear, and so on. And whoever is deprived of the hearing and chanting of the holy names, attributes, and pastime of Sri Radharani must be known to be a soul who is freely deprived by fate. Means that we really need to have this eagerness to listen to the glorification of Sri Radha, to listen about her qualities and her pastimes. And then the Chakora-like ears and hearts will be nourished. Because the quality of the Chakora bird is that they don't drink any kind of water. They only want, they are one-pointed. They want the fresh raindrops from the clouds, from the blue clouds. So now, Jayananda Maharaj, I need your help. Since my Godavani is not there to help and to say something more, you are the, the loyal helper of this Darcy. <laughs> I'm I'm very you know I'm like a useless person, so I I don't. <laughs> you are just cutting yourself down all the time. <laughs> Honestly speaking, you know, <laughs> like a guru they've always you know like smash my my big ego. At, Mine too. This, <laughs> this is uh, so you are saying very nice, like a uh, chakora bad. Always chakora bad. Always looking after moon moonlight. And Chatakabad is looking after rain, rain from you know, from rain cloud. So our heart is very dark. 
because full of ego, full of material desire, and uh, full of covering. <coughs> but uh, if Radha's Nam, Radha's mercy coming through Guru Manjari, Guru Dev was saying, Anantakoti Vishnu no ka Namuna Padma Jai. Radharani's foot toy, foot nail. Everything coming, all brightness, even, even light Brahma Jyoti. Some people saying, oh, Brahma Jyoti is Krishna's, Krishna's, uh, Krishna's, uh, how do you say, effortance. That's also made true. But the reality is, everything comes from Sri Srimati Radhi. Because Sri Radhika is energy of Moha. So without energy, <coughs> Krishna cannot do anything. Krishna, Krishna may, may be Supreme Person of the for Krishna's devotee. But Krishna cannot satisfy without Radha. So Krishna need Radha. We are thinking, oh, Krishna lifted Govardhan here. Oh, this is Krishna's wonderful. True. But without Radha, if Radha is not there, what can I, what, what Krishna can lift Govardhan here? Krishna getting the power and feeling mercy, affection from Radha. Radha's name is Radhika. Because Radhika could fulfill all desire of Sri Krishna. <laughs> so therefore, Guru Dev used to say, Bhagavata Gita 10, 10, 15. We can understand Krishna through or by the help of his flooding shakti, his, his internal potency. So without internal potency, without flooding shakti, without prema, lada shakti, prema shakti, we cannot understand Krishna properly. So our Gaudiya Vaishnava, we don't worship Krishna alone. We, we don't want to see Krishna alone. We want to see Krishna always together with Radha, Srimati Radha Rani. Our mission is united Radha and Mohan. Radha Charam Pabu told the Guru Bashtakam Nikuncha Yuno Rati Kedi Siddhai Yayari Gi Yukti Nira Pekshaniya Tatarati Daksha Date Varabas Bandi Guru Sri Charanarabi Our Guru Manjari is so expert to, to help arrange meeting of Radha and Mohan. 
when Guru Manjari is ready to do any seva, whatever they want. So this, this, this Guru Manjari is so connected with Sri Radha. Then that Manjari, Guru Manjari, or Kinkari, could see reality of Radha and Moha. Even Madanakya Mahababa. That feeling also. Radharan is tasting that feeling. Our, uh, our Guru Manjari and our Kinkari could see and could feel it, could taste it. That is Goranga Mahaprabhu's <laughs> special mercy upon us in this Kali Yuga. And this Narottamadas Mahashaya uh, describes the glory of Sri Radha's name. Name and, uh, uh, name and reality is the same in spiritual platform. So therefore, we really chant Radha's name or Ga Radha's Gayatri. If fortunate, we can feel it. We can see it. We can taste it. The Sunniti is, Sunniti did is reduction so, so tasteful. Just a uh, uh, hearing and <laughs> uh, Sunniti did it for us. I get some inspiration <laughs> to say something. Wonderful. Jai Radhe. I, I was also thinking that uh, when you were saying that we want to taste it, we want to feel it, we are so lucky because we got the Diksha Mantras from our Gurudev that there's also the Radha Bija Mantra inside and that we can chant. It is even also recommended by Gurudev that we chant the, the, these names during the day. We cannot only chant in the morning when we have the, you know, the time. We can always take these mantras with us in our heart and we can always purify our hearts and please Srimati Radhika by chanting these mantras during the day to connect and to feel that who we are. So Guru David is now saying without Baba Manjari, everything uses. <laughs> what with Without the Baba of the Mandri, it is useless. No, no. If we, if we not attain Sai Baba, if we Sanchari, then useless means we may not attain the goal. So therefore, most important, important thing to, to, to stay in Sai Baba. And Swarupa and Swarupa City. Even without Sai Baba, we cannot <laughs> we cannot read, we cannot write, we cannot do anything the other sense for help with others. That's a good day of saying like it's now. Wow, yes, it is true. <laughs> but at the so, same time we can aspire even if we are not a hundred percent fixed all the time. I, for myself, even I am so fallen, but the mantras are so helpful to always remind me of this, even if I'm not fully realized. 
like we heard also that it is mercy to become fully realized is mercy and before that stage of full realization even some drops are nectar for me <laughs> it's not black or white huh? what is it black or white yes wow <laughs> <laughs> it's black or white wow. I'm, i'm i'm so <laughs> uh, when i <laughs> listen to st- style bath i always laughing because at the moment in germany we have a discussion there are some people who don't know are they uh, male or female in the spiritual world no no here in this world oh, they this don't world. know uh, they are male or female and uh, for this the uh, the government like to make uh, special toilets because they don't know yeah. where to go to toilet <laughs> <laughs> because if you don't know you are male or female <laughs> you don't know where to go toilet and uh, so now in germany they want to make a, a third part of toilet especially for those who don't know male or female then they calling gender uh, it's a problem wow. i can see but for me it's an example how uh exactly. complicate the life is if you don't know who you are <laughs> even in this world you have to know you are male or female right <laughs> yes and good day someone who has a, you know male body i'm male body so i'm male or even someone has a, a female body but mentality is purisha <laughs> bima i'm 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 controller. <laughs> But you, you, this is perfect example that um, that even in the material world, it's a big problem if you don't know who you are. And uh, so It the is. same is in the spiritual world. If we don't know who we are, then. Uh, where we can live where we can be in the spiritual world as who it's not possible so therefore guru dev say nowhere nowhere, nowhere we can go nowhere. And, and but others who really don't know who they are they say it's a mental religion right <laughs> so now we we know who we are and others who don't know who they are they say it's a mental religion that's a funny thing and uh, <laughs> so this is a, a like a blind man give the direction yeah. i think it's better to to believe in 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 the one who who can see than in the blind man <laughs> <laughs> I always in this uh, uh, samples maybe I'm I'm not right but this is for me easier to understand why it is so necessary to know who we are and this is self-realization this is the really meaning of a self-realization eternally and we are manjaris this is our good luck thank you sorry to interrupt no you are not interrupting you are adding na you are adding always gora sunnas adding is very powerful <laughs> yeah because of stay baba yes and i had also another meditation when we hear these things and sometimes we say oh we hear always the same subject we hear about shrimati radhika how she is the beloved of mohan and how we are the servants of them but at the same time it seems to be a repetition 
but it is not because our hearts or at least my heart who is full of like you say darkness and full of like emptiness of the our constitutional position we become so much fulfilled with this that we can learn how to see it learn how to feel it and learn how to taste it by hearing and turning the subject of Shimati Radhika's glories. This is the result of all of what we are doing. We will be able to feel it and to taste it and to hear it when we read this. Then there will be some feelings that maybe they were not there in the same way before. And then we can read in between the lines and feel in between the lines. And that is why this kind of repetition is so nourishing for our Svarup, for our feelings as a Dasi to come into this mood because. In Vrindavan, it is everywhere, but when we are living not in Vrindavan, then we have to always come into Vrindavan with our consciousness and with our mind and with our feelings. Because here in this, um, let's say, external energy, often there is only this, you know, more or less flowing against the flow. We always try to be the, you know, good, uh, good winners and good earners and good this and that. But when we come into the flow of Shimati Radhika service, like Gurdiv says, then we can relax and then we can see what is happening in her faith, in her service. And that is just another way of life. This is the easy way of life to live to the flow of us but live into the flow of positive feelings and to always bring harmony wherever there is problems that is the na nature of a darcy it's not to be uh, such a high philosopher we are talking about this because our achayas have given us their mercy it's their creeper to understand deeply who is Radha, who is Mohan. But on one point, Gurudev always saying it is, it's a natural thing to be a Dasi and to always help others to grow in the feelings of love and to always help to make love happen. And this, this is a daily thing to make love appear in ourselves as a Dasi to connect and also in all our daily activities. And I thought this was a nice meditation today, the holy name and the power of the holy name, because in a few days there will be Radhashtami. It's the special day of the birth of our dear Swamini. She is eternal, but she also takes birth. And we pray that her holy name, I pray, that her holy name will appear in my heart and become very uh, fixed there and that I can always take shelter of her and feel that the universal mother, my universal mother is always with me. It's always, she's always close like Gurudev says. Always feel her behind me and my Guru Mandari is also there by my side. And that is the most perfect feelings that I can imagine for my life to be eternally guiding me and helping me to always overcome all the difficulties again and again and make them smooth by the attitude of shelter in Shimati Radhika's love you, in her service. So did you read this verse? No, oh, this I mentioned this verse, yes. Jai Gurudev! We have your darshan. Radhe Radhe. Now you are muted. Now we can hear you, Gordy.
Biz e, You are very strong, my dear Guru. It's always strong, Guru Dev. <laughs> now the material world don't know how to make talk. <laughs> This is our condition. <laughs> We can learn a lot of. Huh? This is the teaching that the twenty-four-seven, when toilets toilet also teach you. A five how is so important. No. Yeah. This is the really meaning of realization and living in twenty-four-seven. In the one-pointed concept, mm. oh, we are confused. If not, we fix ourselves. Hmm. Confusion, yes. And then we are. Government is sanctuary. Oh, government <laughs> is in sanctuary. What to do? That's a big problem. Oh, it's a good business. They can make a millions new toilets now. But in Germany, you cannot say this oftenly. Otherwise, you you get a big problem now. <laughs> this is a material world. Yeah, you have to think in toilet and live in toilet. <laughs> 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 But even that is no problem if you know which toilet is yours. <laughs> no good if you always say to us, "Don't live there. Just go no, quickly no. and don't live there." <laughs> But you see, they are expanding this consciousness. But now, Gorab will read one nice word. <laughs> In Radharasa Sudanidia, I read this verse because we speak about uh, the name of Sri Radhika, and in the verse 97, it is written that the nectarian name of Sri Radha that is rarely attained even by the demigods. So that means wow. even the demigods are not uh, not so fortunate than we, as as humans. Only if you become demigod, you will not. <laughs> no, demigod means even demigod cannot understand. Means you no. are in the category of demi, <laughs> so you not want to understand. <laughs> yeah, because I have a big name and fame. Yeah, <laughs> ego puja. I like this. <laughs> It's very dangerous. So rarely attained even by the demigods. Yeah. Or here is written the regular devotees. It's also rarely attained by the regular devotees. Wow. Now we understand why they don't follow this path because they really. It's very rare that they attain the name of Shrimati Radhika. Wow. And. Even the liberated souls, 
They cannot attain the name of Sri Radhika. And also oh, not wow. Krishna's friends. Krishna's friends cannot attain her name. Oh. That is listened and lovingly repeated even by Lord Hari. He listened his name and he repeated. And that is loudly sung by him to wow. her girlfriends. He sing the glories of Radhika to her girlfriends. The Lord himself sing the glories of Radhika's names to her own girlfriends, Sakis. And he described the name with tear-filled eyes. And now it comes why they don't attain it. Because her name is the very form of Prema. Wow. Rasa and Ananda. This is Radhika's name. And this is very rare attained. Wow. These are the goals of the Manjaris. Prema, Rasa and Ananda to feel this in the loving devotional service to our Swamini. Yeah. And here he, he write down, this is my very life, the name of Sri Radhika, the nectarian name of Sri Radhika. Shri wow. Radhe. This is, it's, it's very special if, if we listen that it's rarely attained by the demigods, by the regular devotees, by the liberated souls, Krishna's friends. Very rare, very rare. Even Krishna's yeah. friends. Even the Krishna friends. <laughs> Not so easy. Some group is telling that Prabhupada was Krishna friend. Ah. <laughs> yes. This is her their understanding because they don't got the name of Radhika. If they got the name, they understand Prabhupada. Yeah. They are not really deep in the in the association with him and with his uh, real real nature. Yeah. But we can feel him and see him as a manjari. I could if. Wow. <laughs> this is the only one hope and not. And, luck. and there is a hope, there is a love, means Radhika. Hope brings to love. Nobody, Gurudev, can describe Krishna in the way that Prabhupada did without Radhika. Who can yeah. see Krishna? No? Only Radhika can see Krishna. And if you describe Krishna in, in this very nice form that Prabhupada did, this is only possible if you are connected to Swamini. Yeah. Kansa also see Krishna. <laughs> Was? Kansa hat Krishna auch immer an. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But he see him as death personified. Yeah. He meditate dead and night. So that's the point. That's the point. Then he's a, the, 
is an enemy. Is he like enemy. an enemy? And Radhika see like a lover. When you yeah. not under and take this Radhika, how you can see he is your Radhika's lover, and how you can understand without that? Mm. So demoniac thing, a way of seeing alone Krishna. Because you see from different eyes. Yeah. A maximum we can see the friend eyes. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Suniti and Gaurasam. Thank you for the service, Gurudev, and giving us the blessings for this so we can purify our dark hearts and become a little bit more light in Radhika's love. In near to you, you are so lucky couple that you got the Gaura Sundara who show you why he is the Sundara? <laughs> he is a beautiful <laughs> because he always meditates in Gaura. <laughs> he knows Gaura. <laughs> Gora is a prema avatar, and Radhika is prema. So Radhika appears in this form to help us, right? Yes. This is the light in the darkness, Gurudev, and. Yeah. Uh, and we are in the in the beautiful line of those who give the light to others. Wow. Yeah. You you give so, the light, Gurudev. Yeah. So for this is the Kali Yuga is even better than the heavenly planets. Yeah. If we That's get the big. light here, then is it is like what the, what to say is better to to live in the hell than on the heavenly planets, if this is possible, right? Yeah. So Krishna has to come. For Naravada Leela, like a human, because human can easily understand this. But our mind is so animal that we don't want to understand and we want to be a demigod. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And even not only Krishna is coming, but in Gora, also our Swamini is coming. Because yeah. the shining, the shining light of our Gora, this golden shining light, is not from him because his complexion is bluish, dark, or blackish. There is not so much light. The light comes by the mercy of Swamini. Because of this, he is shining. This is love. Shining only love shines. If there is no love, no darkness is there. Yeah. And even the Krishna is blue because of that. So he is only missing love. <laughs> Oh, 
very simple to understand but very difficult to digest and live mm -hmm. in the because we are confused yeah yeah for the toilet <laughs> 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 we are so material. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because we are searching the light with the mind, but that is not yeah. possible. This light shines from the heart, and as long as we are looking with material eyes and not with the heart, we cannot see the real light. Wow. When you are coming, Vrindavan, <laughs> I miss you, yeah. Now I'm in Vrindavan, Gurudev. Whenever you are, this is Vrindavan. When I'm with you, with then you we are in Vrindavan. Meditating on Swamini, then it's Vrindavan is there. Yeah. So nice. Jananda Maharaj is missing you and not singing now. You come, then he will start singing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in Mauna? <laughs> wow. Radharani, Radharani. Yes, you have to, you have to uh, steam your pot and then on Radhashtami. <laughs> we met in the train so many lonely devotees they were sitting there in the train alone and then and then we come with the group and they all asking are we in the right train and we could uh, say yes yes we are in the right train Right, Chainanda? <laughs> the example, because they are missing this, no? Satsanga. Yes. Also, we should not get out from the train. No. All the way stick. Whatever, you know, situation there. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you know, we miss you know, both. Gurudev is, is the, 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 the one who is driving the train, and as long as he is sitting in the front and we believe on that, then we are sitting in the right train. Yes. And the goal is fixed. Yes. No, it's no questioning, you know. No. No. Just, uh, just blindly. <laughs> Following. But Sangha is, is important, you see, no? Yes, because we start to suggest Sangha. Important. Yeah. So, therefore, so nice time. I need you. you. <laughs>